I don't know why is it not centered but right what's going on guys I'm your boy Sully and today I'm back bringing you another episode of Sully on Sundays I believe this is episode 63 now and we've kept up with the consistency of uploading this every week since the start of the year without fail and honestly it's been quite awesome this week is going to be slightly different in terms of what I talk about because recently it's literally all been about school how close I am to finishing getting exams out of the way and all of that stuff but I literally have one week left and then I'm free done forever never have to go back there finished complete a mundo and I will be so bloody happy is unreal because I cannot stand the place anymore I really don't ever want to have to go back there again but I know I will just for results day and then after that I'm out never going back there again never having to do anything there again and it's going to be so so good Oh, I genuinely can't wait. I can't wait to be free next week just so I can leave that place. Oh, it's actually such an amazing feeling. I had my last exam two days ago. It was my English exam. It went okay. I personally feel like I may potentially be able to boost my grade with the grade I get on this paper. It all depends on how well it actually went. Um, personal feeling doesn't really mean much coming out of an exam. So I felt I did okay in my original A-levels and that didn't go to plan at all. But yeah. I'm completely done with exams, literally one more week of hardcore work on my coursework, getting it all done, and then be done by the end of next week and never have to go back there again. Um, the likelihood is I'll have to go in for like one or two days afterwards to finish off assignments, touch up a few things, and then be done with it then, but I'm really just hoping to not have to and be done this week, because the deadlines for my ICT work is the 30th and I want to be done before then. Um, but yeah, in terms of school, that is that. I will not have to talk about it again after this point. Um, and oh, it's just such a good feeling knowing that I'm so close to getting three years of hard work finished and not having to worry about going back there to do any more work again. And then I have a holiday to pay for. Um, then summer, I just need to work loads, save up for my PC. Um, pay back people the money I owe them and then I'll pretty much be sorted for uni um, but yeah honestly oh, such a nice feeling knowing I'm this close but enough about school time to talk about my channel and the other shit that's happened this week um, I've uploaded quite a lot this week I believe I've had three or four videos um, including this one being uploaded this week there was the COD 4 video the COD 4 trailer video um, a squadcast throwback um, and then selling on Sundays, I think. Yeah, is that it? Um, yeah, pretty sure that's it. Um, thinking about it, but yeah, four videos in a week is not too bad at all. Um, in terms of the amount I've been able to upload recently, that is actually ridiculously good. Um, and it's it's doing well. The content on my channel is not doing badly at all. My COD4 trailer reviews actually like doing well in terms of views, better than I thought it would. Um, and my COD4 content is actually doing incredibly well on my channel. It's like the most viewed thing on my channel at the moment. That's awesome. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep it that consistent in terms of that many uploads a week. Uh, just because I can't get COD4 gameplays that often. Um, I tried playing the other day. I was literally on for like an hour just trying to record. Kept getting into modded lobbies where I literally couldn't play. I kept one barring out of lobbies where I couldn't play. The host kept ending the game and dumb things like that. So I think I have one gameplay saved and then I may play some other Call of Duties instead um, to see if I'm actually able to get any old COD gameplays for you guys. But I can still record my PS3 and I will make the most of that utility. I might go back and do like a throwback FIFA at some point as well, like play FIFA 10 or FIFA 13 or something like that. Um, just to switch it up a bit, get something a little bit different on the channel. But other than that, in terms of content and new things, I actually have a film planned out. Me and my friends are planning on creating this weird, weird video we saw on Facebook. And that will, I may end up uploading that to my channel. Um, but I'm not sure when I'll be doing that. At some point during summer, I think. And that should go up eventually. But I'll let you guys know about that close to the time. And then other potential content. Nothing really at the moment. I might upload some more old COD story mode potentially. And in terms of being able to record my friends' voices on PS4, I'm really not sure how this Elgato device is working because 
it just doesn't seem to have done anything. I've changed the settings on the software, changed some settings on my PlayStation, and I still can't seem to pick up my friends' voices no matter what we're doing in the party chat or whatever. But yeah, kind of annoying, but there's not really too much I can do. And then other than that, this week I've literally just been doing ICT work, revising for my exam. And this weekend, I actually went out for my friend's 18th yesterday. Um, we went to London and I met like six FIFA YouTubers last night out of nowhere. It was incredibly random. I bumped into Finch, The Burnt Ship, uh, Max Plays FIFA, Road to Shore, Reeve, um, all in this club in central London. It was just so, so strange. Like, Finch called me a legend, gave me a hug, let me have some of his drinks twice. It was honestly insane. Um, I actually got to talk to Max Plays FIFA about the island game and he started jumping on me, going nuts. Um, and then Road to Shore and Reeve, I had a conversation with as well. And I also met a niece on Gib was there. Um, that was the last name that I seem to always forget. But honestly, bumping into them was ridiculous. I was fanboying so hard. And I felt like I was the like one person in the club, apart from one of my friends who knew a couple of them, who actually knew who these people were and was genuinely excited about seeing them there. Because they didn't really have too much of a crowd following them. They had their own booth and their own corner of like, the club, but... No one really was taking much notice of them, not in terms of like fans or anything like that. Um, but like I said, I was fanboying really hard. Finch seems like a genuinely awesome dude. He seems like the most genuine out of the ones I met. Um, like I literally, I danced with Finch. It's crazy to say, I never thought I'd do it, but I, I fucking danced with Finch in a London nightclub um, and got two sips of his drink out of the pitcher. It was nuts. But yeah. That was for my friend's 18th, and then today um, I went out and saw my family, um, or my younger brother even, who I haven't seen in a couple of months. Um, and yeah, it was just nice catching up with him. He's, his birthday is in like five days, and he finally found out about my channel and has just subscribed to it. Um, so shout out to him, shout out to Kyle. Happy birthday for five days. Um, he's turning 15, which is insane, because he's my height, he has my shoe size. And he's four years younger than me, which is absolutely nuts to think. But I don't know where he gets his height from because my mum and his dad are both really short. Um, but yeah, like I said, shout out to him. Um, if he comments, then you guys will be able to wish him a happy birthday and whatnot. Um, but yeah, hopefully he can give me a shout out to a couple of his friends at school. Let him know that his brother does YouTube. And hopefully I can gain some subscribers from this. But... Yeah, seeing him was just really nice. We were able to play pool, went out for a meal, um, and it's just always nice seeing family. Um, yeah, I realised I've ummed quite a lot, but I've had such a weird week, such a nice week, knowing that I'm nearly free from school and never have to go back there again. Meeting those YouTubers was absolutely nuts. Um, but yeah, oh, I, I, like literally I was fanboying, it was incredible. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is my Sully on Sundays, episode 63. Apologies, it was a bit fast-paced and it seemed like I'm going nuts and I said um too many times, but yeah, nothing right, really, nothing really, nothing really that I could do about that. It's just the situation and mood I'm in right now as I'm recording. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. As always, I've been your boy Sully. This has been Sully on Sundays, episode 63. Always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.